Hi, I'm Kathleen Kennedy, and I'm the producer of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Today, you'll be working with one of our stars, BB-8. BB-8 is a spherical droid. Everything he does and every movement he makes is controlled by computer software. Computer science impacts every industry, from marketing to healthcare to film. In fact, hundreds of computer engineers work together to make a film like The Force Awakens. Hi, I'm Rachel Rose. I'm a senior R&D engineer at ILM, and uh, I lead the animation and creature development team. In The Force Awakens, I'm responsible for helping the artists develop rigs, which are the parts of the character that move, that allow the character to look very believable in a galaxy far, far away. In the next hour, we're going to build our own Star Wars game that will teach you the basic concepts of programming. Usually programming is all text, but we're going to use blocks here so that we can drag and drop to write the programs. Under the hood, you're still creating code. After you try the basics with blocks, we'll switch you to JavaScript, one of the most popular programming languages on the web. To start off, we're going to work with Ray to program BB-8 to walk to collect all of the scrap parts. Your screen is split into three parts. On the left is the Star Wars game space, where code will run. The instructions for each level are written below the game space. This middle area is the toolbox, and each of these blocks is a command that BB-8 can understand. The white space on the right is called the workspace, and this is where we're going to build our program. If I drag the move left block to our workspace and press run, what happens? BB-8 moves left one block on the grid. And what if I want BB-8 to do something after the move left block? I can add another block to our program. I'm going to choose the move up block, and I'll drag it underneath my move left block until the highlight appears, and then I'll drop it, and the two blocks will snap together. When I press run again, BB-8 will perform the commands that are stacked from top to bottom on our workspace. If you ever want to delete a block, just remove it from the stack and drag it back into the toolbox. After you've hit run, you can always hit the reset button to get BB-8 back to the start. Now, let's get rolling.